No one may want to talk about hemorrhoids, but about 40% of people have them, so it's vital that we do. It's one of those potentially embarrassing medical conditions that patients are afraid to talk to their doctor about. So in today's video, I'll review six tips to help treat hemorrhoids at first on your own at home. Well, what's up, healthy people? I'm Dr. Majd, a practicing family medicine physician here to help save the busy person and unnecessary visit to the doctor. Make sure to subscribe for reviews of more embarrassing medical conditions, a playlist that I have now created on this channel along with more home treatment strategies for common medical conditions for you and your family. Before I review the treatment tips, make certain that what you're actually suffering from is hemorrhoids, which are inflamed blood vessel protrusions either on the inside of the rectum or bulging on the outside. Although less common, there are other conditions and some of them may be more serious that can mimic hemorrhoid symptoms. Tip number one, stool softeners. Constipation is the number one cause of hemorrhoids. The last thing you want is to have to strain when you're having a hemorrhoid flare. It's not pleasant. Consider an over-the-counter stool softener such as Decasate Sodium or Colace, up to 250 milligrams once daily. It's not a laxative and it can be taken long-term if needed. Better yet, increase your intake of natural stool softeners in your diet like prunes and pears. Tip number two, laxatives. If you are constipated, like let's say you have hardened or less frequent stools, if you're straining or if you have a feeling of incomplete evacuation, etc. Consider an osmotic laxative rather than a stimulant one, which is an overall safer product since it simply pulls the water into the stool and then it softens it. Polyethylene glycol can be taken up to two times a day until the stool is soft. Think toothpaste. Tip number three. Increase fiber. Typical adults need a minimum of five servings of fruits and veggies a day or 25 to 35 grams a day. Consider higher fiber foods like prunes, plums, apricots, raisins, peas, broccoli, and beans. And if you're unable to consume enough fiber, then over-the-counter fiber supplements like psyllium, which is metamucil, may be necessary. Start small and increase it slowly in order to avoid side effects. Look for 100% whole wheat bread. Use brown rice instead of white and avoid simple sugars like sweets, sodas, and white bread. Tip number four, drink more water. If you're constipated, increasing fluid intake can actually help prevent hardened stools. Avoid caffeine and alcohol, which are diuretics that are drying. Tip number five, increase your physical activity because this helps get the gut moving too. Consider 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercise on most days of the week. And last but not least, tip number six, over-the-counter hemorrhoid treatment. Now, over-the-counter hemorrhoid suppositories or rectal topicals that contain hydrocortisone, which is a steroid, like in preparation H, but honestly, the generics will, will work just as fine, so no need to spend more. This can help shrink up the hemorrhoids, but should not be used longer than a week to avoid thinning of the rectal skin, which is one of the side effects of these steroid creams. Tux pads and warm sits baths two to three times a day can also help soothe and relax the discomfort. Now, if these tips are still insufficient to bring you relief, never hesitate to see your doctor. Honestly, we see this every single day. Although it may be a potentially embarrassing topic for you, it's really not at all for us. This is a good time to also remind you that if you're 50 years of age or older, or if you have a family history of colon cancer, make certain that you're also up to date on your colon cancer screening. If you found the information useful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who may find it useful. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down here and that bell list next to it in order to learn more useful, actionable health tips for the busy person who can't always make it to the doctor's office. Now, all content presented is for informational purposes only. It's not specific medical advice and you should always seek a licensed physician in your area for all health-related concerns. Well, thanks for tuning in, stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time.